Welcome back. We've got some new mobile games coming out this year. Some really exciting stuff. I'll leave the exact dates that they're going to come out down below in the comments. So check down there. If you followed me because of One Punch Man, the strongest, the game just came out five days ago. I'm loving the game. I'm covering it on my second channel. So look down below as well for that link and come over to my second channel to get some more One Punch Man, the strongest videos. We're going to kick it off with Nikkei Got Us a Victory. This game has premium double lattes and biscuits. It's a waifu hero collector with action arcade style gameplay. It's pretty addicting. You got to give this game a try. It's a triple A title. Many people are looking forward to this game coming out. Again, I'll leave a date to it down below and I'll leave a link to their official website down below so you can pre-register for this game. You will be addicted to playing this game if you give it a try. Don't be fooled by its whoppers and baby busters alone. This game is a legit fun app game to play. One Punch Man The Strongest just came out five days ago. I am loving it. It is not an idle game. It's an actual turn-based gotcha game with so much going on in this game. It is unreal. The banner summons are already coming out. There's so many game modes in this game. It is a legit full-on AAA title with so much to do. You will not be bored. And I am absolutely loving it. I have to give it another plug here because I'm covering it on my second channel. And I'm playing it every day to accounts. So come and join me. Call of Duty, a game that I love to play on PC. I still play with a controller on PC because I've always played Call of Duty since World at War on my PlayStation, but now I play it on my PC with a controller. And I absolutely love Call of Duty. There's a new Modern Warfare 2 coming out soon, but now we're getting Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. This is really interesting because Warzone is huge. Call of Duty Mobile is pretty huge as well, so I'm guessing that this Call of Duty Warzone Mobile is going to be one of the biggest hits out there. I'm sure there's going to be more people trying this out than any other app game this year. Torchlight Infinite's about to global release. They did a week-long beta, which I did play. I posted a video on this channel if you want to go check it out. But it's Path of Exile, Diablo Immortal. We're looking at all these skill trees. We've got all the loot drops. It's fun. It's a good game. I would give it a try if you're into these action RPGs. T3 Arena popped up and I wasn't really sure if I should cover it, but looking at the grayed out video in the background, isn't this Overwatch? This is Overwatch. Look at that. If you are into Overwatch, this is a 3v3 mobile Overwatch copy paste game. I can't imagine this would be any different than playing Overwatch. Get with two of your friends or join some others online. This actually looks like something I would have a good time with. All you wizards out there, we've got a new Harry Potter game and I'm not the biggest Harry Potter fan out there, but I wanna play this game. This game actually looks pretty damn good. I don't have any gameplay right now to look at footage, but look at this. This looks like another gotcha game to where we're fighting against each other with card-based combat, which I can definitely get down with. Then we've got over here some enemies that we're facing out in the open world with amazing graphics to go along with it. Now, it depends to me really on how this gameplay is going to be for Harry Potter. Harry Potter, to me, traditionally, the games that I've tried out, haven't had the greatest gameplay. They're just Harry Potter themed, so they get a lot of attention, but they're not actually the funnest games for me to play. But this looks like this could be enjoyable. Card-based combat games are always fun if they're done right. And this looks at least good, so I will play it and I will showcase it on this channel. Last but not least, we've got DC Heroes and Villains. I thought this was an idle game. I could swear to you that this game's been in beta for quite a while and that it was an idle game. But when I look down here, all I see are gems, like Connect 3 games, to where we level up our hero, we give them gear, and then we do a Connect 3 game. I really feel like this game is being misrepresented here. Because I'm telling you right now, I'm going to go find some footage. I'm going to put it at the end, like right here on the screen and show you DC Heroes and Villains. It's been out for quite a while and now they're having their official global release soon. And it is an idle game. That's all I've got for now. Please let me know if there are any upcoming mobile games coming out. Message me on Discord and let us know down below in the comment section because I want to play all these new games, showcase them on this channel and go over them with all of you. Thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate your time. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you all in a video soon.